What's going on guys? We have some more Minnesota Vikings franchise week 2 in season 3 of the series and the 0-1-1 Vikings are traveling to Lambeau Field to take on the Green Bay Packers. We escaped week 1 in Chicago with a lot of scary sights with guys getting hurt but no long term injuries whereas the Packers will be without Desmond Bishop, Morgan Burnett and Brad Jones among a few other players. In week one, the Packers played the Lions at Detroit and got a seven-point victory. Rodgers with 211 yards passing, two touchdowns and an interception. James Starks was held to 45 yards receiving. And Jennings with 82 yards receiving in Finley and Starks had touchdowns. And the Packers are a team that have kind of struggled in this franchise series of mine, never really being as dominant as they are in the NFL. So it'll be interesting to see if that changes this year. But we're off to Lambeau Field where we're going to try to steal a victory on the road and within the division. 0-1 Vikings coming off of a hard loss to the Chicago Bears in their opener. And so the defending Super Bowl champions are ready to take the field. And we'll get into the action with Green Bay having the ball in the first quarter. Aaron Rodgers back to pass and he finds Jermichael Finley over the middle. He's going to get to the 40-yard line after a gain of 12. And then the shotgun draw is the James Starks. He gets a big gain. Minnesota had a weak rush defense last year and Forte had a big day on the ground last week and now the pitch out to Starks and Tyrell Johnson takes him down as he gets into field goal range. First and 10 from the 33 yard line. Good protection. Rodgers going deep and that's Greg Jennings had a step on Jamel Fleming and he makes the catch and goes into the end zone for six points. And so Minnesota trying to get their offense established and Ponder, he pumps and is sacked on the play. And so they'll bring up third and 12 now. Ponder's going to pass and he's going to look left and it's nearly intercepted looking for Percy Harvin. And so Minnesota off to another slow start on offense. Whereas Rodgers on third and five, he's trying to get the back into scoring range and he's going to take the ball himself go up to the 30 yard line and now second and three from the 23 and Starks hurdles a defender and then he is taken down inside of the 10 yard line at the 10 and then first and 10 pitch out to Alex Green good block on the edge and Alex Green goes in for six and quickly the Green Bay Packers up 14 to zero so Minnesota trying to establish some sort of offense but there's A.J. Hawk quickly taking down Adrian Peterson, 2nd and 13. Now Ponder is sacked once again quickly. So Minnesota would end up punting it back to the Packers. Still in the first quarter, 14-0. And Rodgers finds Jordy Nelson coming across the middle. And the Packers have so many weapons on offense. Vikings did address cornerback in the draft with Morris Claiborne. But there is still a lot of room for improvement as Starks makes a catch and goes inside the 5-yard line. Setting up the Packers, third and goal, Rodgers back to pass, looking to the end zone, and it's nearly intercepted, and so the Vikings do hold him to a field goal, but it's a quick 17-0 lead in the first quarter, Ponder and the Vikings trying to get anything going, but there's A.J. Hawk and Clay Matthews in on the tackle once again, nothing happening on the ground, Ponder rolling out to his left, good coverage by the Packers, and Raji sacks him from behind, and so third and 18, well, let's just run the ball with Lorenzo Booker, get a couple yards out of it, and we get one. One. And so Minnesota having trouble even getting positive gains at this point. And then Rodgers going deep for Jennings, and that one is out of bounds. And so Minnesota's defense does get its first stop, but offense still very slow. That screen pass is covered perfectly. So Ponder's going to call his own number and take it up the right sideline and hit hard by A.J. Hawk. Should have got out of bounds earlier, but it's 23 yards on the ground. So Minnesota finally gets a first down. And then Ponder to pass, and that one is way off the mark, looking for Kyle Rudolph. And so the Packers take over, and Minnesota just struggling overall right now. But they do hold them once again, and they're going to have to punt from their own five-yard line. So this gives Minnesota a chance. Third and inches, they get the first down on the fullback dive to Jim Kleinsaucer, the longtime Viking. And now first and ten, and Peterson is stood up in the backfield. Two-yard loss. Quick pass to Burris, and Nick Collins gives him a shoulder, and he can't hang on. Overall, just not looking fundamentally sound and not playing very good football at the moment. Screen pass for Booker, try to get some yardage, and it has been an ugly first half for Minnesota. The defending Super Bowl champions getting rocked by the Green Bay Packers, and Ponder is sacked again. We'll take a look at the first half stats. Ponder, 4 for 10 for 23 yards, and Peterson, 8 for 12. Nothing going for the Minnesota offense. Can they get it going in the second half? Ponder quick pass to Kyle Rudolph. 
That nearly matches his first half passing totals as that one was 17 yards. Now second to nine, ponder to pass. There's to Noel Devine. At least it's a positive gain. There's a catch for five yards. Try to convert on third and four. Ponder loose over the middle. There's Percy Harvin making the catch. He'll get in the Green Bay territory. Minnesota has a stretch of a couple first downs going. Can they keep this up? It's third and 13. Ponder pumps and time running out. He throws as he's hit and is nearly intercepted. And so... At least they got a couple first downs this time, but it ends in another punt. Meanwhile, Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers are back on offense. Third and six, and there's Kevin Williams. Minnesota's defense has stepped up since the first quarter, allowing 17 points, and has played pretty well since. Now, later in the third quarter, Rodgers and the Packers have the ball once again, and Rodgers is going to take it himself up towards midfield for a first down. He is a dual threat. He can run. He has very good speed. Starks gets another first down on the ground. Minnesota's run defense has got to step it up. Pitch out left to Starks. A lot of room to run. Taken down by the last man available, Hussein Abdullah. But Starks is over the century mark and having a great day on the ground. Meanwhile, Alex Green is in for his second rushing touchdown on the day. 24-0 Packers. We're almost to the fourth quarter, and Minnesota has yet to put any points on the board. At least Adrian Peterson gets a first down here, 13 for 36, almost no success. Second and three now for Ponder. He'll find Klein Saucer out of the backfield. There's a first down to the 47-yard line, almost in Green Bay territory. And now let's just switch it up, run some Wildcat, and look at the rookie go. Kobe Hamilton, right sideline, and there we go, eliminating the shutout as Kobe Hamilton goes in for six off for the Wildcat. So Minnesota on the board at least now midway through the fourth quarter and Ponder's going to pass it to Lorenzo Booker out of the backfield. There's a first down. That'll give Minnesota a new set of downs at their own 32-yard line. Ponder back to pass. Looks deep for Burris in the slot. And there we go to the Green Bay 39. Minnesota finally getting some plays strung together. Play action. Ponder finds Rudolph. And there's a first down past the 30-yard line. Vikings in field goal range. Third and seven trying to convert. And Ponder rolling to his right. And he is sacked by Clay Matthews. So Ryan Longwell will come out to attempt a 48-yard yard field goal and kick is up and it is good and so Minnesota now with a 14 point deficit not totally out of this game but they're gonna have to get some stops on defense and I came through with Vontez perfect and Christian Ballard cleans him up and so Minnesota has a shot at this or down 14 need to go quickly ponder middle of the field there's Mark Harrison way to hang on after he absorbs the hit First and 10 from the 47-yard line. Ponder under pressure, and he is sacked once again. That is Clay Matthews, so second and 19. Huge blitz coming again, but Ponder gets it away to Adrian Peterson. It'll be enough for a first down. Green Bay blitzing a lot this game, taking advantage of that Minnesota offensive line. And then third and 10 for Ponder. Actually, good protection this time, and it's intercepted. Looking for Percy Harvin, and the Packers will take over possession after the interception. And there's only 46 seconds left, so the Packers just going to run the ball, give it to James Starks, and the fumble is forced, and it's picked up by Greenway, and look at everybody miss him, Greenway dives into the end zone, it's a touchdown for Minnesota, but it looked close, and the referees are going to look at it, it is a scoring play, so the booth will review it, and the referee comes out to give the decision, and it is overturned, and the Packers keep possession. The Vikings would eventually get the ball back with 23 seconds left and no timeouts. Ponder to pass on first down. And that play pretty much sums up how this was for our offense today. And let's do it one more time, why don't we? Another sack on Ponder. This was by far the hardest game I have played on these sliders. These sliders are fairly difficult and they have given me some very tough games at times. But this one by far the hardest on offense, on defense. It was hard to get anything going in that first quarter, and I guess that falls back on me for not fixing the offensive line in the offseason. And here is the stats. Ponder with actually more yards than Aaron Rodgers because they didn't have to pass the ball very much. Starks was milked for 30 carries, 141 yards. Peterson had 44 yards on 15 carries, so another poor performance today in our running attack. And that means the defending Super Bowl champions are 0-2 to start out the year, and with two losses in the division, Minnesota is going to have to bounce back. And we lost Cedric Griffin during the game, herniated disc out for 10 weeks. Checking up on the NFC North standings, the Packers and Bears are both 2-0, and the Vikings and Lions are 0-2. 
next week, the Vikings take on the Philadelphia Eagles on the road and hope to bounce back. In the meantime, a couple of videos for you guys to check out. We have week one against the Chicago Bears at home. And on the bottom, we have a video that shows all the top players on all 32 teams in the NFL. That's a pretty cool video if you guys want to see who the top players are in the NFL. And also, tonight, the 31st, I'm planning on doing a Madden 12 live stream. I'll be putting out a video about that shortly. And also, I'll be addressing it on my Twitter. And so, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Minnesota Vikings franchise.